guys good morning welcome to my youtube channel my name is fabi and um do not forget to subscribe to the channel give a thumb up by the end of the video so i'm just here basically to help people out on some um, current issue we have going on um at work basically i work on bigo live bigo live application and the management had recently just asked everybody to link a pioneer account to their bigo account and it's it's a problem for a lot of people because they don't even know how to go about it bigo has been paying us um um with two different methods which are of course the bank transfer and being payment so for people that have been uh, most of the agents end up cashing out for their host but this time around bigo is trying to make sure every single person open a pioneer account now because i've been having too many questions about it i thought to do a video now this is it let me not make this video too long first of all um a pioneer is an application where you can which you can use to withdraw um beans payment on bigo and i think a few other applications use it too uh pioneer is an ap application itself so first of all the first i mean the first step to take is for you to download the app now i'm going to show a screenshot of what it looks like over here the app what it looks like yeah so after downloading the application when you click on it it shows you option to sign up or login now here is the thing you have to do because you obviously do not have an account with them you cannot log in what you have to do is sign up it's very easy when you click on the sign up they show you um the first thing is they ask you let's get started first first tell us about your business well basically we you just read if, if, you, if you're not to read you should be able to set up an account it's like setting up an account on facebook and every other app it's quite easy so now they tell you i own or represent a registered company i'm an individual running my own business i think for this one i just click on this i'm an individual running for business running my own business rather sorry so when you click they ask you to start typing your country you go as far you just type your country which is nigeria when you type it a list of countries shows up show up so you just have to pick the particular country you're signing up for so you click on nigeria and you go next now once you go next it's very easy i don't know if i'm going to be showing what it looks like if i show from here it's too tiny and my screen is broken you guys probably won't see it so i'll try to take screenshots from one step to the other so you guys can see what it looks like and know what to click on and so it says small or medium sized business freelancer online seller so I, I think i cannot remember what i did but i think i said freelancer agency or service provider whatever to get paid by clients to pay but to get paid you click on to get paid and go next yeah okay great let's get you set up yeah i think that was what i did and then you go further when you go further it takes you off the application and takes you to the big osm sorry the pioneer site on the pioneer site they show you um something like this i don't know if you guys can see it i don't think so but you see a sign up pioneer sign up whatever individual company you just go further to click on individual once you click on the individual, it shows your name, your first name, your last name, email address, we enter email address, date of birth. You click on all of that and you go further. Oh, now I cannot go further from here. Okay, let's, ah, it's going to. Now you have to make sure that every single detail you're putting in there has to be correct. So you go further and you get to this place where you have to put your contact details in. Here you put your country again, which is Nigeria. I think it's automatically there because you put it before something. And then you go further to put your name, your name, your email, basically your email. And then you pick a password for yourself and you re-enter password just like that. You gradually 
go from one step to the other and do everything that needs to be done and then you go further to click on next now make sure that whenever you fill one particular detail once you're done with it you have to go further to the next one you have to literally click on next before it takes you to the next one make sure you are putting i'm just sounding this again make sure you put the right information because they might ask you to do verification later on and your your whole um um what is it called every of your credential that you'll be needing like your um, id whichever id you're using everything has to correspond because if it doesn't correspond it wouldn't be cool get everything up there for you guys to see you just go through the process basically reading what they ask you to to do and just sign up your names and all of that it's very easy and then you you have to put a valid address they'll ask for a postal code or zip code or whatever you, you don't know any just browse it your state wherever you're staying browse the zip code you see the list of codes online you just pick any of them um that relates to wherever you're staying and you sign up now after putting in every detail every single detail you you've put in there of course the next one is going to show so after that i probably would explain further because i did not mention that in the video that's why i'm making a voiceover to explain that oh it's it's not enough you don't just stop there you have a place to put in an account that you'll be making withdrawals with so basically you have to add your individual bank account to payoneer uh i'm getting a call you have to add your individual bank account to payoneer when now this is the thing we're having this is the nigerian region yeah so if you're putting your bank your local bank account which is the nigerian account you're going to be paid in naira to your payoneer getting paid in naira is like and also please make sure that if your if your account is a dollar account don't put the ngn don't put the currency when they say currency don't say nigeria don't put naira put dollar sign the dollar sign if you're using a dollar but if you're not using a dollar yeah setting up your profile using the naira account is more like you you trying to lose money in the future kind of thing so i'd advise you if you can open up a bank um uh, a dom account a domiciliary account you get to receive your your money in dollars which is far better because you can go to black market and get your money changed which would give you a higher rate but if not i mean if if you don't want to go through all that stress you can just use your naira accounts once you add your naira account to the bigo or, or your dollar account to the bigo sorry why i keep saying bigo to your payoneer account you stop there now it's the, the you you go next to um adding your payoneer to your bigo account it's very very easy you just log on to bigo you open your bigo live app oops i have to log out from this one because this one already has my payoneer account set up in it i'm going to try and use another account to show you guys um okay so you you log in to your account first of all you need to have enough beans in your you need to have enough beans in your wallet if you don't have enough beans in your wallet you won't be able to cash out so it definitely would not take you to the page where you have to um put up your account you need to have the minimum six thousand seven hundred beans you so once you log into your your bigo go straight to your wallet click on beans go to your wallet click on beans once you click on beans it's loading I, I like to see what i'm saying okay so you click you when you click on your beans you have multiple options on what to do with your beans you have exchange diamonds you have big old store exchange reward live data withdrawal history now what you're doing trying to do is to cash out your beans so definitely you go to exchange rewards it has the dollar sign in it you click on exchange rewards mine is not opening because i only have like three thousand beans in my wallet you have to have six thousand seven hundred beans minimum in your wallet to be able to cash out so once you click on the exchange reward beans it takes you straight to the different options of um the different options of beans 
cash um of cash out options most of them are foreign options the only one you are permitted to use i'm telling you is the pioneer you see option for pioneer so just click on the pioneer when you click on pioneer they are going to ask you to log in if you already have an account login or they might tell you sign up but just click on it when it when you click on it, it takes you to the to the pioneer page and they ask you to log in or sign up but now you've already created your account so all you have to do is log in you log in with your details it's still going to keep you there so after logging in and you've successfully logged in just minimize get, get off it go back to bigo and restart the process click on wallet click on beans and click on exchange rewards now when you click on it what's going to show is your pioneer details um your pioneer account they have, um, and then when you click on the pioneer option, they ask you how much you want to cash out. You have the amount there by the side of your beans. You can see with a, a dollar sign, you can see, um, how many, how many dollar you're, you're, you're allowed to cash out. I mean, I mean, how many dollars you have in your Bigo account. So you click on convert exchange all. There are options for exchange all. If you don't want to exchange all, you can just type out the amount of dollars you would want to cash out. So basically go for exchange all. <laughs> Click on your exchange all and it tells you, um, it shows you a, a message saying you're about to cash out like 7,000 something dollars or blah, blah, blah. And they ask you to confirm. Once you confirm, they will tell you the weights for, is it set three, seven days or no i think it's like two weeks or three weeks they say i don't know i cannot remember but whatever you just have to wait for like probably five business days if more seven business days business days weekends not included business day and bigo is going to credit your um pioneer account now because you already have your account set up your pioneer account set up once you get your money pioneer is go you're going to get an email with the with the email you registered your pioneer with saying that you just received a payment from bigo live so you just go log in click on it you click on it and you cash out your money once you click on your pioneer you see um back beneath it you see a list of things you would want to do so you go for the withdraw withdraw option when you click on withdraw they will show you the bank account you're going to be withdrawing to which is the bank account you've already connected to the app you click on it and click on how you write out how much you type out how much you, you want to cash out and you cash out it's that simple when you cash out like that you wait for probably two days highest i think is two working days two business days too for them to credit your local bank account with the money now if you have a dollar account it's easy once they credit you you go you 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 transfer or do a transaction with an with an aboki guy if you have a dollar i would advise you to probably get your um, account work your mobile app working for your dollar account so you can just transfer instead of instead of going out to look for a bookie oh sorry instead of going out to look for a bookie you just look for your friends that have already been cashing out and tell them please can i transfer oh, of course you need to be using the same bank account with the person to be able to do that but yeah that is it you just cash out and if it's naira they credit your naira account you don't have to go and exchange any dollar simple right you better subscribe after watching this video because i did this for all of you and if you don't subscribe nah let me not say what i'll do to you <laughs>